Okay, we're out here today on about as pretty of a day as you're going to get first of February in the Ozarks. Man, it's in the mid 50s, sun's shining, and fish are biting a little bit. Well, we come out today to do a little spider rigging. And if you're not familiar with spider rigging, what you're doing is you're taking your eight rods, setting them up in two rod holders to where you're fishing. I'm using 14 foot today, so we're going 14 foot off each side of the boat. The ones in the front of the rod holders are covering the front of the boat, so we're basically covering, this boat's about seven foot wide, so we're basically covering 28 and seven foot, 35 feet in one big swath with eight rods. And what I'm doing here today is we're in the mouth of a creek and we're trying to come down a, a, a contour line where the channel comes into this big bay and it's a well-known spawning area for crappie. And this, instead of just picking apart little obstacles that you can find, this gives you a 35 foot, or even better if you're using longer rods, swath that you can cover and, and just kind of broadly go over an area. And you, you'll be surprised how many straggler type crappie that are moving from one point to the other that you're gonna pick up while you're doing this. It's a very effective way and, and doing this method right here, sometimes you'll hit a school of crappie and instead of catching one or two with one rod before they move on, you might catch four or five or six at a time and get those in and manage to get another couple. You can manage half a limit of crappie before you even really know the crappie, what they're doing for the day just out of one spot. Rigging. This is your basic double minnow rig that we got tied up here, just using a quarter ounce today, going really slow. Uh, bait that's working the best for us today has been this uh, Pico pointer shad in the pearl. We're putting a chartreuse wedge head on the front of that. Kind of gives it the perfect profile for the size they're eating, gives it that pearlescent flash, and nothing hooks and holds big old crappie as good as that wedge head does. All right. So if you haven't given spider rigging a try, try to go with somebody, give you, give you a few lessons, teach you how, hire a guide, whatever. But I think once you learn how to do this, you're going to have a whole new appreciation for it. Give it a shot.